Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with something really cool. It's a home security floodlight by Eufy. So it's just like those typical floodlights you put on the front of your house, front of your garage or whatever, but it has a built-in camera that supports 1080p video and it records in color. So not just during the daytime, but also at night, which is really nice. So you've got all that going on. You've got adjustable brightness, dual 2500 lumen lights on it. So it has some really good illumination. It's got seven days of free local storage, so you don't have to worry about having your stuff hosted off-site, other people having access to it. It's all locally straight to your phone through Wi-Fi, which you can connect to your home router. It's got a four gigabyte built-in internal storage, which is how it records the videos. Then it's IP65 waterproof. It's got motion detection, 140 degree wide angle sensor for wide range sensitivity and security for your front house or wherever you wanna put it. And then it's got a smart siren that's 100 decibels. So the way the siren works is you activate it manually. So in the event that you get a notification on your phone for a motion event for wherever you have it installed, you can look at it. And if you see that there's something fishy going on, you see something suspicious, you can manually activate the 100 decibel alarm from your phone and it will start making a lot of noise and hopefully scare whoever off. So that's really cool. It has optional cloud storage if you want that. You get your real-time real alerts. It has all the stuff you need inside of it so you can install it. And then it works with iOS and Android devices. So super cool. It's 199 bucks. And I think it's going to be something that you'll probably be interested in. Something I'm definitely interested in. Uh, I'm glad that Eufy sent this out for me to review. And I'm looking forward to putting it up on the house. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box. And then I'm going to get this baby installed on the outside of the house. So let's get to it. All right, so let's take a closer look at the floodlight camera. So super fancy, 1080p full HD. Now, I've got a lot of film inside of this review. So in addition to the unboxing, I'll show you all the cool stuff that, that it's capable of. Footage from night mode, footage from daytime, uh, what it sounds like when somebody's talking on the other end pretty much cover all the bases. Now it's really nice, 2500 lumens, it's super bright, adjustable brightness, and it's got the smart siren and all the other bells and whistles. So getting into the box and taking a look at everything, I kind of tore it there on accident, but it's pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot of stuff in here really. You have the security camera, you have the installation stuff, it comes with everything that you need to install it. <clears throat> it will install and mount to a standard utility bracket. So if you have a light or a fixture already on the outside of your house, it's very easy to pull the old one off and put this one on. It has three whole wires in it. Uh, it has the ground. It has uh, the, the positive and negative or wh whatever they'll call it. The white one, the black one, and the green one. <laughs> it has all three of them. Uh, that right there is a little clever hook that actually really helps out with the installation and then there you see your bracket and it's got the screws and all the cool stuff so very easy to install I'm not an electrician at all by any means I did but I was able to install it myself and it only took me probably like 15 minutes so I was really really surprised with how easy it is to install and it's really nice and conveniently already set up so you you can set it up before you put it on the wall and it'll save your storage settings in the memory so you can see here there is a power cord actually attached to the wires. And what you're supposed to do is plug it into the wall um, and then go ahead and set it up and connect everything. So that way, once you plug it in outside, everything's ready to go. You've already got it set up and connected to the, to the app and you're signed in, ready to go. So you don't have to worry about doing anything. So that's one thing that I really liked about it. I was kind of confused at first why it had the little uh, you know, the, the twist, uh, cap things for the wires and all that stuff. I was like, well, this is kind of weird, but, uh, it's actually really nice. So go ahead and pull this stuff off. You can check out the led lights. There they are. They are super bright. You'll see in the footage later in the video. Um, uh, I go outside and just to show it off at night, how much it illuminates and it gets really, really bright. Don't take that sticker off until you get installed and everything in place. That's the little sensor for the motion and all that cool stuff. But you can adjust all the lights. You can adjust them um, on each plane, so vertically and horizontally. So you can turn them all the way around if you want. You can adjust stuff. You can put them at the angle you want. So everybody's driveways and the front of their houses and wherever you want to install it is different. 
So it gives you the flexibility to set it up and kind of point it and direct the lights how you want them to be, which is really nice. See, there you go. You just unscrew those little things with your thumb and that relieves the pressure off of it so you can adjust it. Then you tighten it back wherever it is that you want it. But uh, like I said, all this stuff comes in there to install it. And you'll see when you watch the video that shows you how to install it, which is really cool. When you set the stuff up in the app, it shows you how to install everything down to the wires, all, all, the, all the whole nine yards. So that little metal hook, actually you hook underneath the light right there and hang it on to the little junction box outside where you set everything up. So if you're having to climb up on something or you're working on it you know, directly at, at arm's length, however the height, it hangs on there so you don't have to worry about holding on to it or having a third or second person help you. So pretty neat. All right, so to use the app, you download the Eufy Security app. And after you download the app, go ahead and plug it in. And you'll go through the setup process, which is pretty simple. It, it takes maybe like five to 10 minutes. If you already have a Eufy account, it's easy. Uh, you can just log in using that. But if not, then you just set one up real quick and then go through the steps uh, using your 2.4 gigahertz network. All right, so here comes the fun part. Hopefully you're already in tax security light or whatever it is you're gonna replace is not like 10 feet off the ground like mine is. So I had to get my wife to help me out. As you can see down there holding the ladder. So safety first. And now we're gonna go ahead and replace this security light with the brand new one. All right, so I got the security camera installed now. Uh, I was originally gonna put it up there where you can see the ladders at, but the contractor that put that there years ago apparently did a terrible job and there's nothing for me to actually anchor it to. So here we go, right here. Now, it's pretty easy to install. Uh, whenever you set up the, whenever you set up the security camera yourself um, and go through the steps on the app, there's actually like a three minute video that tells you everything you need to know about installing it. Super easy, there's like one bracket, two screws, and then one main uh, screw that goes into it. So it's pretty easy and it only took me like a whole whopping 10, 15 minutes to get it done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my power turned back on because of course the first thing you wanna do is turn your power off before you install it so you don't electrocute yourself or hire a contractor to do it. But either way, let's get to the next part of the video. Ta-da, I got it installed. So I'm not even an electrician. I just went and turned the power off and pull off my old light fixture and put this one on. And I really didn't have any issues with it. Um, other than just the fact that the fixture underneath it was so old, one of the screws was kind of messed up. It was hard to get out, but it looks really nice. It, it looks fancy sitting on the front of the house there. And I, I think that uh, Eufy did a really good job with the, the design on this overall. I think it's a sharp looking fixture. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sound the audible alarm that's on the security camera. You can do that using the app. Down here, you can see the little siren, and if you hit that, it tells you, get this uh, focus, manual alarm will sound for 30 seconds. You can turn it off, though, once you've activated it. So let's go ahead and hit the button. All right, so we'll back up. All right, that's enough. I went ahead and deactivated it on the app, but I think that that's pretty good. It's right at, I think it said like 100 decibels, and it should be pretty much good enough to scare off anybody that happens to try and sneak into your driveway, whether it's daytime or nighttime. Uh, it's particularly startling, and yeah, I think it's a nice feature that they have included with the camera. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and show off the light at nighttime so you can see how bright it is. Uh, it illuminates everything really well, especially with these bright white LED lights that it has. So I'll come over here, see the neighborhood, and there we go. It's very, very well illuminated. So that's one thing that I like a lot about it is that you can see really, really well. By contrast, you can see the yellow light that's on my front porch there. So let's step back a little bit farther. You can get a good picture of the outside. There we go. So it's a very, very bright light, which I'm very happy about. All right, so now that I've shown you the footage, 
the unboxing, talked about it, showed off the alarm stuff. Let's go ahead and go into the UFI security app and I'll give you a quick little rundown of what everything looks like. So whenever you pop it up, you'll see the active one that's there. You go ahead and click on it. It'll show you the live feed while you're looking at this stuff. So you see all the different options there. That's so you can do a manual recording. Then you have that, you can take a screenshot. I don't know why they use scissors. It looks like edit, but press the scissors for the screenshot. Uh, you can press and hold the speaker button there so you can talk to whoever's on the other side. You can turn the light on and off. So you'll see here that it's gonna turn off. It still comes back on in, in black and white mode though. So it still uses the ambient light and all that other stuff that's going on. So uh, I, I do have an, an older security light up on the wall in front of my uh, driveway there. But you can see that it still works pretty well. All right, turn the lights back on. Now you switch over to this menu. You've got the siren there. That's how you enable the alarm. I kind of wish that was on the front part of the page, but it works fine. The next one over, you can check out the security clips. And go back in. And then that's night vision mode. It just sharpens it and enhances it and makes it look a little bit better. And it does look really vibrant and it's very good, especially with the colors and everything. I didn't think that it was gonna work this good. Like I've used other night vision cameras and stuff like that. I've got an Arlo security camera uh, by my front door at 720p and this thing blows it out of the water. I, I cannot say how impressed that I've been with this. It's worked out really well. So if you go over, you can look in the camera settings and you can you know, set up the camera to turn it on, turn it off night vision, you can do your schedule, you can do the light settings for uh, brightness and all that good stuff. You can set a schedule up. So if you wanted to come on at uh, eight o'clock at night and turn off at six o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, you can. If you wanted to come on at seven o'clock at night on a Wednesday and turn off at five o'clock on a, on a Friday, you can do that. Uh, you can set the schedule for the whole week or have multiple schedules. And then you can have it set up right there uh, for sunrise and sunset where it will work off of uh, the, the GPS stuff and it'll turn on and off, you know, at sunlight and uh, at daylight and sunset. And then you can even adjust the sensitivity for whenever the lights are activated. And one thing that I also like is you can set up the brightness for the lights for manual mode when you have the lights on and off or if it's a motion event or a scheduled event. So you can have the lights on for different levels of brightness for the three different settings. Um, however you have that set up. And I thought that that was pretty novel. So you can have it be like full max on brightness if there's a, a motion event. But if you just have it on, like let's say your scheduled or your manual mode, you could have it at 50, 60%. And then if there's a motion event, it'll kick up even brighter. So there's a difference, kind of startle people and let them know what's going on. The recording settings there, see it's set for 59 seconds. The motion event, if the motion stops, you can have it set up where the recording stops. Now there is the four gigabyte SD card in here and based off of the length of the recordings and the sensitivity and all that stuff is gonna dictate how long it's gonna last, but um, it should last for quite a good while and then it'll just start recording over the older ones. So you, you don't have to worry about it and it's nice that you don't have to worry about having it backed up somewhere or it's not being monitored somewhere. Uh, on someone else's computer. Everything is done locally on the camera here itself and then your app to get access to it. So if you don't wanna worry about that stuff and you know, Uncle Google or whoever else keeping tabs on you, that's not something that you're gonna have to worry about. So I, I do like that as well. And then down here and all the way in the bottom of the settings is the installation video. And this shows you everything that you need to know about installing it. I watched this. I went out there and I did it. I didn't have any problems with it. And then if you run into hiccups, you can go back and you can re-reference it. But it's probably the most helpful installation video I've ever watched. And it's nice that you get to see it when you do the initial setup. But then you can go back once you get it set up before you go and put it on the wall, since you've already got the app set up and everything, you can watch it again. So it makes it really nice and convenient so you can see what you're doing and pretty much anyone can install it. Just of course, make sure you turn the electricity off before you get to doing that. And if you're concerned about which breaker it is, I just turned all the, the power off. I think that's probably the safest way. All right, so that's all I've got on my review, unboxing, walkthrough, all that good stuff of this uh, Eufy security floodlight for the home. It is really fancy, but it also has a fancy price tag. Like I said in the beginning, it's $199. But competitively looking at it, uh, the one made by Ring is 250 bucks. So this one's $50 cheaper 
And I do have a lot of experience with the Eufy ones and I'm super happy they sent this out as a review unit and I've really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, I think that it's worth it. It's something that I'm really happy that I have on the front of my house for the security, for the two-way stuff. And when my kids get off the, the school bus, I can talk to them that way if I need to. So you know, there's just a lot of advantages to it that I think is nice uh, and it's very flexible in application. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you get the latest and greatest. And as always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.